BTC China offers reassurance, M-Pesa expands to Eastern Europe, and eBay adds a virtual currency category. Hello, I'm Jared Kenna, and here's what's happening today in Money and Tech. Police are now investigating two customers' fraudulent claims against Bitcoin company Neo and B, as concerns grow around the absence of CEO Danny Brewster. The two police reports involve the purchases of digital currency with Neo and B to the tune of 35,000 euros, which were never honored by the company. Also, despite having claimed that threats were made against his family, police have noted that Brewster never filed any formal complaints. Brewster is still missing and unreachable. Shanghai-based exchange BTC China has published a statement reassuring Chinese investors that its operations will resume despite looming regulatory uncertainty, confirming that they have yet to actually receive any official word from the People's Bank of China. And payment platform Mula has accused digital currency exchange Crypto Rush of fraud, claiming the company's mostly anonymous management have been aiding the fraud of the exchange's users by pumping and dumping certain coins and offering a questionable in-house coin, Crypto Rush shares, to pay back users who have suffered significant losses. After revolutionizing banking in Africa, Vodafone is expanding its M-Pesa mobile money service into the Eastern Europe market, starting with Romania. Less than one-third of Romania's 7 million people have access to conventional banking, but now Vodafone users in that country will be able to transfer money via text message at participating retail outlets and through authorized agents. The Bulgarian National Revenue Agency released new tax guidelines for digital currencies Thursday, which states that a typical 10% capital gains tax will be applied to all income earned from the sale of digital currencies, such as Bitcoin. The new NRA guidance does not require taxpayers to submit any documentation verifying their Bitcoin trading income, which could open the door for money laundering practices. The Sacramento Kings NBA franchise, which became the first professional U.S. sports team to accept Bitcoin this past January, has now also launched their Bitcoin-only online marketplace, kingsbitcoin.com, where Kings fans can now buy gear, merchandise, and tickets for Bitcoin. Following suit, California's soccer team, the San Jose Earthquakes, will also start accepting Bitcoin payments with BitPay for merchandise and tickets in their upcoming season. And the Chicago Sun-Times has partnered with Coinbase to become the first U.S. newspaper to accept Bitcoin payments, allowing readers to pay for subscriptions with the digital currency. eBay has added a new category for virtual currency on its popular online auction site in the U.S. Consumers can now browse through listings for dozens of Bitcoin and altcoin-related activities, such as mining hardware and even per gigahash shares in mining operations. eBay is not accepting Bitcoin as payment, but as PayPal president David Marcus has said previously, they are kind of thinking about it. Virtual currency marketplace, the Bitcoin Shop, announced Thursday that it has begun accepting Dogecoin on its e-commerce platform. Shoppers can now search through over 140,000 products in over 400 categories to purchase with either Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Dogecoin. And tonight in Los Angeles, Meltdown Comics will be hosting a donation-based party just for Dogecoiners. Such party, much charity. We interviewed Bitcoin core developer Mike Hearn earlier this month about some upcoming changes to Bitcoin J. Find that video plus more information on today's news stories at moneyintech.com. I'm Jared Kennan. This has been Money in Tech's Daily News Update.